A little bigger than Lynx River, eh? We could put the whole town in here, couldn't we? So weird. I don't remember a damn thing. There, honey. Work it. That's us, baby. She's coming. Hi. Hi. You know she's saying swing now? Swing? Started like a week ago. It's amazing. I mean, you just turn around and you're changing. Mm. It's got to be from your side, because I didn't start talking until I was four, and then I wouldn't shut up. Sue. Sue. God doesn't listen. Not in front of her. Still true. He's seeing her a lot more now. Yeah, because he wants to get back in your pants. Save you the trip. Harris the mailman. <laughs> right on. She uh, had a pretty bad morning. She's better now. Why don't you stay? Sure. Correspondence course. Deprogramming? So she can become a human being again instead of a sheep? Thanks for coming by. No big deal. I'll hold her hand all day if it helps. Harris! Bringing the mail? Come on, man, that's pathetic. I presume you have a point? No, I'm just saying one of these days some guy's gonna show up and go, who's she? Not half bad for 38. I think it already happened, pal. Does the name on tour ring a bell? But she's screwed up. Are you gonna hold out against her forever? So what's in it for you? I don't want to see her turn into a nun. He has a gentle energy. TV? <laughs> Harris. He's nice to me. I I don't know why. Oh, I think it's pretty obvious. Gotta read the whole thing? Said if I did, less planes would crash. Then no one did. 1950. Can't blame me. So what was it like being married? Different. You got in each other's way. Sometimes that's okay. How do you know it's the right person? You don't. I was wrong both times. It's 
not like hunting. I won't be long. I'll just be a minute. Okay? Is Mike around? Mike Burkett and his daughter. Uh, he doesn't live here. We took the house over a year ago. Oh, sorry. I've been away. This was my house. Well, the house I grew up in. Uh, is there something I can help you with? was my room. That was my mother's. You painted. I'm surprised Mike didn't make it a condition of the sale. <laughs> Do not paint over the beige. How can anyone live in beige? We didn't deal with Mike. We rent from Joy. Joy? Your grandmother? She never mentioned you. Oh, I don't uh, brag about her much either. You said there was something. Uh, uh, I had some things in the basement, and Mike said he'd hang on to them for me. You'll have to talk to Joy. Do you have her number? Morgan's a sergeant. Hagen, too. Gilmore's dead. Looks good. Is this a good time to talk? Oh, well, Cormier's supposed to call about Michelle. Now she's pushing me to come back on duty. What? Why? I got a call from Vancouver. They're ready to take us. <laughs> the in vitro clinic. I thought they couldn't. They couldn't then. And they put us on a list. Our number came up. <laughs> it's just I could have used a little warning. You had a year, Brian. I'm sorry. It's just not possible. I can't book off. There's nobody else here. Cormier can't say no. He can't. Normally, sure. But I'm two weeks off a reprimand. You don't want this, do you? That's not the point. Any luck? Been yet. I was hoping we could maybe have dinner. You hungry now? Tomorrow, at your place. I'll cook. <laughs> Just like the old days. Mm -hmm. Sort of. Uh, pork chops and mushroom sauce, still your favorite? Minks River, Northwest Territories. A nurse, right? Mm-hmm. Now you want to sling drinks in a casino? Well, actually, I was hoping to deal. Without any experience? Huh? I was a shark in solitaire. <laughs> Start off on the floor. We'll see how you do. Come on. Give it a smile. 
the bigger the tip. Screws the poker tables, but forget about moving a lot of drinks there. The golfers are playing roulette or crown and anchor. What? Smile. People are having fun here. Hey, big guy. Where you off to? Bush. Bush. Bertha's bush not good enough? I tell you, that nanny's job's not paying off. Tanya's probably getting more honey than you are. Okay, so he's a mouth. TV and William wouldn't talk. Joey took off. I've never seen him like that. Well, I thought you should know. I'll look into it. Thanks. Cormier hasn't called back yet. He owes me a cough. You, of course, heard nothing, saw nothing. Maybe Joey's having a nervous breakdown. All the stress. Yeah. And you're one lucky mother. I can't take a joke. You heard of public mischief? What? You gonna charge me? For nearly getting my head blown off? He threatened you? He threatens me. So where the hell's Joey? What am I, his mother? Senile. Your hands are full. I gather this is yours? Elizabeth. I, I was at the cemetery today, and there were fresh flowers on Mother's grave. I, th I thought Father... Your father lives in Florida now. He didn't tell you? Why should he? <laughs> Did he tell you? Did he offer to take you along? I never approved of Michael leaving. You were barely 10. Your mother forgave him. I didn't. No, you didn't. I left some things in the basement, and I want to know if they're still there. What things? My things. You have to talk to them. No need to bark. They won't let me in without your permission. Of course I'll call. And then you're off, I suppose. No. I'm back. I live here now. Okay. I've been known to drop children. She's a beautiful child. Like you were. The father's native. <laughs> you seen Joey? You guys fight or something? He's in a bad mood. Oh, he's pretty mad at William and TV. Hi. You seen Joey? No. Hey. What do you guys do to piss him off? What did we do? Come here, you monster. <laughs> you can't arbitrarily impose restrictions like that. 
There's nothing arbitrary about it. Firearms remain in vehicles or are packed while the bear is within town limits. And if a hunter who has no vehicle and needs no pack has to cross town? Then he takes the most direct route to the periphery. Are you making this up as you go along? We could have had a shooting here yesterday. Have you heard of mediation? Have you heard of prevention? I may make my own recommendations if I feel that the force has lost touch with the community. Kiss. Come on, I got a good feeling about you. <laughs> What's your name? Sarah Burkett. Sarah. Thanks, Sarah. Good luck. supposed to be in here. You waiting for someone? My dad. He'll just be a minute. Where's your dad? Sure I can't help? You can clean up. Hey, maybe I'll just uh, bronze the dirty dishes. Proof I had some company once in my 40s. It's not like the decor is gonna bring him in or anything. If you're comfortable... Well, yeah. I don't have big requirements. Never did. So, um... I guess you're feeling better? It's not as bad as it used to get. Maybe because I'm older. Uh, you're not that old. I mean, even if you were, I'd still be older, right? Same old, older. You're a good person. You don't need to change. <laughs> good. It's right up there with nice. <sighs> to me, that's nice. You know, the failure rate for in vitro fertilization is like 90%. The success rate is 15 to 30%. Zero, if you don't try. What if it doesn't work? Have you thought about that? About failure? Brian, I live with it every day. You could have done a lot worse. Uh, I guess that depends on your expectations. I mean, where exactly do you see us in five years, Corporal Fletcher? With or without children? <sighs> so much for dinner. Almost forgot how nice it could be. So I don't suppose uh, you feel like being hungry again tomorrow, do you? For dinner? Seriously, though. If I ask.
at me. You return fire. Jesus, Fletcher, he was shooting at me. Protective custody. Somebody was firing at him on the ridge, and he was firing back. Yeah, it's Joey. Yeah, but we don't know that. I don't need any goddamn protection. I don't know who fired first or why. Fletcher, let me out of here. So what are you going to do? I'll deal with Joey in the morning. When it's light and I can see. If you need help, just ask. I didn't do anything, Fletcher. Come on, don't be an asshole. You're shooting at me. You're shooting at me. Sometimes I think I'm losing my mind. For instance, when your sitter said you work in the casino. I do what I have to. Of course. Of course. I gather the father of this child is not an issue. The father of this child walked out on me. I see. The difference is, Elizabeth won't have to go through what I did. It wasn't your mother's fault. About her breakdown? She trusted him. She depended on him. That's the difference. The point is, you've come back. With your daughter. My great-granddaughter. And I have properties that need to be overseen. Since Michael left, I've hired the work out. I'd like you to consider it. There's also the house. Which is rightfully yours. Are you serious? I don't expect an immediate answer. It may be too big. Which is better than too small. Thank you. What? I didn't say nothing. So I guess you heard the shots? Just remember, it's not about me. No one would jump off a cliff for me. Nice reward. Custody's custody. Maybe a touch too much cayenne in the eggs. We're offering assistance. I got 20 guys that'll go out there and look for them. I am not asking for assistance. You're refusing assistance. Your and you've also gotten shot. She's not on duty. Well, she could be. I'm gonna sue this whole Do I walk into your council meetings and throw my weight around? Is that no reason to hold me? Nobody's been shot at in council yet. But the sooner I can get to my job, the sooner I'll know if I require assistance. Bullshit. Joey's up on the phone. Bullshit! 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 The door? RCMP, Lynx River. Sarah? No, it, it's a little busy right now. Is it urgent? Yeah, just a sec. I'll, yeah. Michelle, phone. RCMP, Lynx River. Joe? Joe! <laughs> oh, you don't know how good it is to hear your voice. How's it going? Pretty good. How about you? Oh, I'm so completely up in the air. You know, after seeing my grand and... I don't know if it's... Sarah? I'll let you know my needs as soon as I know them myself. Sarah? Sarah, listen. Um, just, you know, it's kind of crazy in here right now. Okay. It's just not a time I can really talk. What the hell are you put in my food? I gotta go. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'll see ya. Probably a lot more peaceful up there. I won't spook him. This sucks, man. This sucks. I've been doing this goddamn job for 14 years. I don't know what to tell you. You've probably got some guilt. Confusion with what went on before. He's okay with that. 
If he is, then I am. Well, if that's the case... It's just... He doesn't excite me in bed. Oh. spot had some shots last night some from down there some from up around here any ideas anyone hunting or I don't know game doesn't usually shoot back we're talking firearms offense criminal negligence attempted murder down there, They're sitting duck, guy can shoot. You fire first, it's important. Nothing to shoot up here, sick me. down in a bit. You don't think he's the risk? I don't know. Brought down his rifle. Didn't bring him. Now, he made sense. He, he offered me the rifle. I could have stared at that campfire. Who knows how long. Craziest thing. blaming you. TV is. Well, I'm not. All I know is there's a guy on the bluff who's not himself. A guy you know as well as anyone. Unless I'm wrong. Unless he's just a babysitting service. You care about him? Of course. Well, maybe he needs to know. For the briefest moment, I thought you were your mother. Where's the child? What time is it? It's just after 10. I came right from work. I have medication to help me settle. Or else my mind runs. You want something, I gather. What if I hadn't come back? But that's the thing. You did. Did you come to a decision? I'd like to accept. My lawyer will drop the papers. It's a good house for a child. I hope you forgive us. And your mother. Why forgive her?
I'm going to marry Harris. Hey. Last chance to be a slob, eh? Go for it. When you want. You know, a lot of things are going to have to change. Dad. <laughs> what? Well, come on, what is it, like some big secret or something? Oh, come on, she told us last night. Oh, I thought you'd be like, I don't know, happy? Are you... Did you... Make... Some decision? I, I just talked to TV. I don't think they expected it. All right. To... Marry me. But I didn't even ask you. Yes, you did. Last year. I think it was sweet of you to be so patient. I had to think it over. It's not something you want to regret. We didn't discuss conditions. Baptism? It's traditional in this family. I mean, how can I promise to stay in the house five, ten years from now if I have to look for work elsewhere? But you won't have to leave. <sighs> oh, and just a, you know, small detail. Her last name is Golo. Your name is Burkett. So is mine. Well, it's traditional in her family for her to take her father's last name. Should that other parent show up, make a claim to the baby, the inheritance, the house? You see my point. If she wants to claim her native status? I really didn't foresee such a struggle. If you prefer your casino life, I won't be offended. The conditions stand. To be honest, I didn't think we'd get you back. The stories you told the foster family you stayed with the year your mother was in the hospital. Of course, you were only 10. Joey, you okay? Hungry. No luck with nothing. I was worried. Didn't know where you went. Guess I gotta talk to guys before I get my gun back, eh? outside, locked in the car. Just kiss the chips. Mind your own goddamn business. Kiss your own chips. Red 16. Sarah. Sarah. What was that all about? 
out. You saw her. He locked his kid in the car this time. His family life is none of our business. You know, I wouldn't treat a, a poodle like that. You sell drinks, you smile, and you keep your opinions to yourself. Do you have children? I can see it's not going to work out. Remember what I said? You warn him? I, never mind him. Take a look at this. It's a lot to carry. The weight of the world. This town's enough. Half this town. You want it, it's yours. I'll call Cormier. I want you back on duty. Thanks. I'm gonna try to take a few weeks off. Oh, that's nice. You and Rosemary gonna take a trip or something? Or something. Lakes River, Northwest Territories. Far from home, eh? Well, actually, I'm from here. Here's okay. Here's work. Motown. Cheap smokes. <laughs> Best cup of coffee I ever had. Stuck in Wrigley. This blizzard stops supplies for a week. Town around a perk. Then instant. We're going snaky, drinking burnt toast, mouse droppings. And the plane came through. I still taste it. I once paid a guy five bucks for toothpaste. I mean, just enough to put on my brush. Have you ever been up there? Mm -mm. It's another world. You're lucky. I mean, they could have, even if it wasn't your fault. So what's that? Firewood? Said I'd finish it. Well, what's wrong with here? Because we had a fight? Fight's got two people. You're mixing me up with someone else. Hey, I don't want you to go. I need you, all right? Yeah, but you don't love me. I wasn't expecting you. She called you the night he walked out. She was incoherent. I tried making sense of it, but she was having a breakdown. I spoke with her the first few times, but after that, after that, it wasn't her calling anymore. It was me. I had no way of knowing. I was 10 years old. No one phoned. No one came to see how we were. How could I have known it was you? I sat alone in that house for two days, curled up by my mother's door. You didn't want to know. So is this why you came back? To throw this in my face?
Would it help to hear me say I'm sorry? I realize that's the fashion these days. Everything raked over the coals. Great statements of regrets, no matter how. What? Distasteful? Unpleasant? Like my mother cracking up over the phone? Oh, don't, don't worry. I've already had my breakdown. The point is, we are of the same flesh and blood. That's why I offered the house, the properties. Then why did you come? Not for your house. I came here to see if I still had a home. And I was wrong. Show for tonight. Thanks for watching. I'm Paul Andrew. Zaha. I think we should go to Vancouver. What are you talking about? The clinic. Is it too late? Is that what you're hoping? Michelle's back. We've got some weeks coming. I'm willing to try. Sorry I couldn't talk. William and Joey had a little shootout. <laughs> but don't worry, nobody's hurt. Hey, I'm back on duty. I'll try you again tomorrow. Oh, Harris and Lois are getting married. Uh, I miss you, and I hope everything's okay.